several others, I am speaking on behalf of Loudoun residents in opposition of Newport Institute's attempt to establish a three-house campus on Gleesville Road. This operation in Leesburg abuses the spirit of the Fair Housing and Americans with Disability Act. Newport claims it has by right access to any number in any concentration of homes because they are operated as, quote, group homes. We support and understand the need for group homes to address the mental and behavioral health crisis. But Newport is not a group home. They market themselves as luxury campuses and can be defined under the law as congregate housing facilities, which require special use permits to operate. Yet the zoning determination made by Loudoun County on November 29th gave Newport the green light to purchase the Gleesville home by allowing them to define themselves as a group home. However, Virginia Code 15.2-2291 does not allow for group homes to provide recovery for persons addicted to controlled substances, something that Newport clearly advertises on their own website. And I quote, Newport Institute treats young adults with depression, anxiety, PTSD, and trauma, adjustment disorder, borderline personality disorder, obsessive compulsive disorder, mood disorders, and co-occurring disorders, including alcohol abuse, substance abuse, opioid abuse, prescription drug abuse, and eating disorders. The prohibition in 2291 is not limited to active use of control, controlled substances. It also includes those who nevertheless are addicted to a controlled substance, the very persons Newport advertises on its website to treat at the Gleesville properties. On multiple occasions, myself and other neighbors have spoken with Newport's COO to address our concerns and come up with possible solutions. Unfortunately, Newport doesn't seem to have much regard for its neighbors or local zoning laws. It is clear that their focus is on the estimated $10.3 million that they will make operating out of these homes annually. I implore you to learn about the zoning determination in Fairfax County on Davidson Road and like them, not allow a for-profit commercial business to manipulate zoning codes to operate where they shouldn't. I ask you this knowing full well that congregate housing facilities are not allowed in our AR1 agricultural zone district, nor is treating substance abuse. Thank you. Good evening, Chair Randall and Board of Supervisors. I am, I'm, I'm Cheryl Wright. I'm here to speak on opposition to the Code of Virginia Title 15.2.2291. I live on Gleadsville Road in the Catoctin District, and I would appreciate your declination of the application from Newport Academy, a for-profit group home for 18 to 27-year-olds with mental health or addiction problems from operating in my neighborhood or any residential neighborhood in Loudoun County, Virginia. These types of health facilities should not be operated in a residential AR1 zone district. Not knowing what these individuals are in this treatment facility or being treated for in these tre treatment facility, um, for HIPAA laws, I'm concerned about my safety and my family's safeties and my surrounding neighbors. Other items to be considered are taxes. How are property taxes handled by this large for-profit company operating in a residential zone? I would assume for-profit commercial companies would pay a substantially higher amount of taxes. Is this a way to escape from the commercial property taxes? Or is this a commercial tax, commercially taxed property? Are these operators of this facility getting around paying higher commercial taxes by operating in a residential zone with temporary residents? Or are they afforded a tax break by operating a health treatment center? How will the emergency responses, police, fire, and ambulance services that will no doubt be called to the residence facility be paid for? Past history of this Newport Academy have required emergency responses. There are plenty of commercial type properties available for this type of facility to operate. We do not want the safety of our families compromised by roaming patients, nor the traffic that will be present by visitors to these patients or the workers at these facilities or as mentioned previously, the traffic that would be encountered by the emergency response type vehicles that will be visiting this facility. The property located uh, is located on a rural route where traffic and speed are already a concern. This property should not be zoned to allow a group home or congregate housing. I'm sure these residences do not have the capacity for well water nor septic allowance for the amount of people visiting or operating the property on a daily basis. We are in an agricultural district and have several gun ranges and by, by rights hunting in our area. I can only imagine the harm that would come to these mentally challenged individuals that may be affected by the sounds of gunfire. We are all for advocating the property care, proper care for people struggling with mental health issues, but not in our neighborhood. Again, I am concerned for the safety of my family and surrounding families 
if this type of family sh facility should be allowed to be operated in our neighborhood. Thank you.